Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ophelia Vivier, and today we are here for another restoration. This time we have a Bachman 060 in front of us. The Librian paint scheme is of a custom design that I got from my great uncle. I don't know how much work he's done on this locomotive itself here, but he did add his own custom decals and numbers all around the locomotive, as well as painting the roof of the cab. You can see a little bit of the silver on the underside of that coat of paint. But now let's test the performance of this locomotive. So starting off and forwards. There. It's nice and smooth. Let's turn it up just a little bit more. That's some pretty good performance for this Bachman locomotive. And some pretty excellent slow speed. And now let's go ahead and open up this locomotive. This locomotive is really simple to open up. I'm just gonna detach the tender. It's only held on with this little plastic hook and there's no real connection. So this locomotive can actually run just by itself. There's no pickups or anything like that in the tender. So I'll go ahead and clean that off camera. And to open up the body, just pull off the body. That's how it's been with this 060 as well as the other one that I have. This one also does seem to have the smoke unit inside of it. I can't really check if that's working. I don't have any smoke fluid or any oil to work with that, but I'll go ahead and clean both of the body and the tender off camera. Now what I'm gonna try to do is open up this locomotive, the plastic piece. Well, is this light gonna come out? It comes out of my other one. No, this light is secure, okay. On my other locomotive, the light just simply falls out. And I'm just gonna unscrew the base plate. Now I'm gonna set these pieces off to the side. I think this is just a broken bit. I don't know exactly what it goes to, but I'll leave it off to the side. Now we actually can see all the wheels and the gears here. Can I pop them? Yeah, I'll pop them out all the way, that works that we can more easily clean them as well as see, you can see it there, the gunk on the wheels here. To clean these wheels up, just gonna take a Q-tip right now and clean up any of this oil that I can see before I actually scrub the pickup points of these wheels. This lubricant seems to be fairly fresh. I'll put a fresh set on. Wipe this all down, pick up little pieces that are stuck to the linkages. I quarter this all correctly because one of them came out. There we go. You want to make sure that one, like this is, you see how the counterweights are on top? Turn it around. And then these are all pointing towards the, for the front. Yeah, they can have a tendency to pop out. I just hold them together for now. And to clean the wheels themselves, I'm just going to grab the Pico track right that I normally use. And if you're familiar with my videos, you've seen it before. You can see the ridge that I used to just clean the wheels off. Take a wheel, set it in there, and scrape at it. 
I'll do that off camera. So then I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with all that. All right, now I've still been cleaning the wheels a little bit, but halfway through here, I'm just gonna work on the motor just a little bit. Gonna wipe some of this old grease by the worm gear. Spin it around. Okay, didn't know if there's an opening on the other side. I guess there isn't. Aside from one that's like kind of a casting error. That's a little interesting. Clean up this gap just a little bit more of the old grease that's kind of spread all around. The motor itself seems to be in really good shape. As you could tell earlier, just the locomotive's slow speed performance, as well as I did a little bit of testing just with the wheels off, seeing how it started up and all that. Also try to clean inside of here, just wipe off some of that old lubricant before I add my own. There we go. The lubricant I will be adding is lithium grease. I'll just apply it with a toothpick. I'm not gonna crack this engine up or anything like that. I'll just leave it all closed. And since it's an enclosed motor anyway, I don't want to deal with those extra hassles. Just going to try to add a little bit of this lithium. I don't know exactly how lithium grease is formed and what makes it different. It's just the grease that I have and I'm familiar with working with. Spin the motor a little bit. Try to add a little bit more. I'll wipe up the excess when I'm all done with this. That should be enough lubricant to add for now. I'll go run this in just a little bit to get this spread around. All right, now I've gotten that all cleaned up and the lubricant added in. I actually did try to see if I could open up this off camera. There's a screw here, a screw back where this thumb is. There's a screw inside of here, just behind that cylinder. And I don't know how to get to that screw at all. I don't know. It doesn't seem like this front set of cylinders doesn't come up and off. So I don't know how to access that. So even if, even if I wanted to open up the locomotive, I don't know how to. I'm gonna set this off to the side. The smoke system keeps falling out. So I just left it out. It's not attached in any way. Just sits in, be pulled out. Let me go ahead and try. Insert. Oop, that might help if I insert it the right way. The running gear. Might be a little tricky, so I'll just do this off camera if I have to. Okay, I plugged both in. There we go. Slide smoke unit back in. And we're gonna screw the base plate back. I wanted to check if all of this can still run as one unit. In case I accidentally broke anything. Then I'll add lubricant to a few more areas. And that should be the majority of this locomotive cleaned up. There we go. Now let's go ahead and test this locomotive. All right, now we got the locomotive down on this little test track here. So let's just test it starting off and forwards. It's a nice, slow speed performance. About the same from earlier, except looking at the controller here, it does start a little bit 
earlier or with a little bit less power. Of course, this locomotive is not really meant to go that terribly slow. So it might get caught up just a little bit here. Let's just try a little bit faster here in reverse. Seems to be performing well and not that terribly loud. Of course, this locomotive is geared to run slower. But now let's go ahead and put the body back on this locomotive. All right, now, like I said earlier, I'm just gonna add a little bit of lubricant. Add to each little section of the connecting rods. I'm gonna add just a little bit on this rear bearing. Spin it all around the exact same to the other side. And there we go. Now this locomotive is all lubricated. As you can see the body. Tried to clean it up best I could. These little white specks appear to be spray paint from the previous owner. And I scrubbed pretty hard to try to get those off. But there's nothing I could really do about that. So the body, of course, slides back in. I wanted to make sure I had the smoke unit in there. And let's put the tender back on. I did remove the chassis because I could do that on this one. This was a little difficult to unscrew considering it was right between some axles. There we go. Seems to be all back together. Now let's get this whole set back on the lab for one final test run. All right, now we have the look what I've on my kind of makeshift test track here. I want to make sure I have all the wheels on properly. Now let's just start it off and forwards. I guess I'm kind of used to locomotives that don't perform as well because I turn up on the controller right as I say forwards and I don't expect it to really move like that. There you go, it does seem to be moving fairly slowly and nice and controlled. As well as being pretty quiet compared to my pancake motor version of this locomotive. That one's a lot more of a hassle to work with. This one was pretty simple, especially considering its motor was in decent shape already, although I couldn't really access it in any way. That was kind of interesting. All right, now we're at the end of this restoration video. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching and making it this far into the video. This locomotive was a lot of fun to work with, although I really didn't do that much to it since the motor and most of the internals were in pretty good shape to begin with. But in this video, I cleaned up the wheels, a little bit of the gearing on the insides, added some new lubricant, and cleaned the outside of the body here. Next week, we should be working on this AHM locomotive here in the background. That one's also a custom locomotive, and it's in a lot worse shape than this custom locomotive is. And in front here, you can just see the other Bachman 060 that I have, and this one's not even in running order and its pancake motor decides that it wants to light itself on fire. In the coming future, I should be eating some O-gauge stuff. I'll just be trying that out and we'll see how that goes. It should be some pretty old stuff, but it looks like it's in some pretty good shape. And I'd like to thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.